Do you think freezing samples could address this problem? Um, I think that uh, the, the only thing that could really address the problem are really dramatic reductions in carbon dioxide emissions, uh, coupled with actually drawing uh, CO2 out the atmosphere using natural or man-made carbon sinks. But um, we have to plan for the eventuality that those uh, reductions in emissions um, don't happen or don't happen quickly enough and to the degree that's necessary to actually save these ecosystems. Because I believe and that coral, sorry, won't even survive if tough regulations on greenhouse gases are put in place. Yes, it is possible that, that they could survive, but the, um, the reductions in carbon dioxide emissions would have to be the most stringent that have been proposed by the uh, IPCC. And they would probably also have to be coupled with um, actually actively removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Give us a sense of what the world will look like if we are unfortunate enough to lose coral. Well, if we lose coral reefs, we will have lost one of the most important marine ecosystems to humankind. Uh, about 30 million people are totally dependent on coral reefs for their livelihoods. Uh, it's possible that as many as half a billion people are dependent in some way on coral reefs, whether that's for uh, supply of fish, coastal protection or tourist income. So just from the socio-economic point of view, the loss of coral reefs will be devastating. So other However, than putting regulations on greenhouse gases, stamping out that problem, what needs to be done now? Uh, well, immediately uh, we have to um, actually manage coral reefs in a sustainable way to give them the maximum chance of surviving in uh, this current world of, of climate change. But essentially without those major reductions in carbon dioxide emissions, um, coral reefs are, are pretty much doomed.